Oh. That'd be a cool lie anyway. That that is a cool <laughs> lie. If it's a lie, we'll never know. Let's hope let's hope it's the truth. Well, it's a little result. How often do you tell the truth about a hand that you play, Matt? Forty six percent. Wow. That's the perfect amount. Oh look at this guys. Jennifer is going to win Manis. Oh, Huge awesome. cooler situation here happening. Tom's going to raise with kings under the gun of 300. Jennifer making it 800 behind with aces. Uh, my first thought is that that's way wow, too small. Wow, with tens. Way too small. Uh, Justin's got tens behind on the button. Jennifer, These tens I find actually are going to... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go no, ahead. no, that's okay. No, Jennifer, ahead. I find, is, is, less, is less likely to be making a move preflop than postflop. Um, given what I've seen. I was going to ask you, you that. I had yeah. to agree with that. Yeah, and no, I I, yeah. that's definitely, you know, did Tom raise under the gun? I don't Tom raised under the gun. Jennifer threw it to 800, which I don't think is big enough at all, given stack sizes. I think she needs I think she needs to make this, like, 1,000 or more. I think Tom um, also picks up on Jennifer, too, pretty well, probably, where he, he probably knows that she's not going to three-bet very light, so I'm... You the know. problem here is that Justin's now cold called the button with tens and only seven k behind. Yeah, so it's a good cool. that's a good reason for Tom to try to get it in against Justin here and maybe represent a weaker range than he has like ace king, jacks, queens, whatever. Might just want to go ahead and get this in against Justin. Wow. Okay. Look at this. So these tens I was going to mention like kind of just sort of make the they're a catalyst to the pot. And an immediate wow. fold yeah. wow. of kings. Wow. Oh my Jeez. god. He just snap mucks them like a huge boss. Very nice. He knows that Jennifer that's would at least right. think about it with queens. That's what I that's what I was saying. Where like Tom knows she's not three betting him light and then for her to five bet when when Stealth Monk is also cold flatting and then wow. he's four betting. And the sick thing about this well there's two sick things. The the kind of anticipatory thought process going in, going from Tom's mind. He's thinking, I'm gonna I'm gonna for, I'm gonna uh, four bet here with the intention of folding if Jennifer makes if a move here, because Jennifer can't do this here without aces, or she's going to think really long with queens or right, exactly. something so like that. So there's that, and there's also, he he may have been saved a little bit by Justin's call here, because if Justin doesn't call, he's he's very well, likely to forbid his hand anyway, but is he is he going to get away well from it as I'm easily? It's like because, you know, he overcalls a three bet, and then he's four betting, and then she's five betting. Then Do you know the effect of stack sizes? In that wow. Um, well, it looks like Jennifer has 27K if the graphic is right there. Um, 24K? Jennifer has 24K, but I think about 80 million behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Uh, 24K. <laughs> no, it's definitely more than 24K. Wow. That was unbelievable. Just no thought. No, he like just shows Jake. He's like... See, see this? Right? Snapmucks. Snapmucks. Yeah. What I a mean, boss. The, the and Jennifer's picked up another big but hand. But I think it's kind of relevant because, like, uh, Jennifer's well, picked. It looks like Jennifer's that. picked up jacks. Right. If the graphic is right, it looks like I she has she jacks, jacks this hand. Yeah. And Jennifer does have jacks. Another big hand. Here's her rush. She's flop top set. She's not going to get much action. <laughs> Unfortunately not, but she's checking it. So oh. we'll, so maybe. Ooh, well, both, both have a gutter. Letters, yeah. This wow. would be hurt if a it was ten. just like offsuit ten. A, a ten would be pretty. Uh, and I think a king, a king or a queen will get her paid as well by at least one folding, of them. But though, we see uh, Sean's O face on the ten hearts. Pretty sure they're gonna fold, yeah. Wow. Um, so obviously that fold was extremely well done, and he had the whole hand planned out of the, what what the, his reaction was to the you four know, bet. The annoying thing with with Marchese's hand for Marchese is, you know, kings is such a strong hand. You hate having to four bet and then, you know, fold your hand because your hand is so strong. Where like you'd he'd rather just like call at that point and then you know at least see a flop. But at the same time, sometimes you have to. What do you think about just calling there in Marchese's spot? I mean, you cap you cap the you, you close the action. You. I mean, they're super deep. I guess if she has over like twenty thousand, he makes it thirty. If he makes it three k, so you know, if he only thinks she's ever going to do that with aces, then yeah. you could part with the three thousand. But I, I mean, I think there's definitely a case for calling because you don't want to like four bet full the hand as strong as kings ever because your hand is huge, and you know this could be the flop that Tom Marchese could have hit. You know, had he.
called, and then he could have won a massive pot off Jennifer Tilly. But with stealth, spot. and then other things, stealth monk's range for flatting there on the button, like, is he ever really paying you off when you then four bet in that spot? Let's say Jennifer does fold. Mm -hmm. Are you ever getting it in against Justin? I don't know. You look really strong. Well, in that the thing spot. I would add there is like, when you. When you traditionally like learned how to play 100 big, big blind poker, anything you four bet for value, you never fold. But a key thing here is one reaction is to say, okay, hands that I when I get really deep, hands that I don't want to stack off with, I'm just going to flat the three bets because I don't know what to do to the five bet. Right. But that kind of handcuffs you because now you lose value against their calling range. So That's actually really interesting because you see that a lot at 510. People are only four betting with like kings and aces. Right. Yeah. And so like what the correct adjustment to do is to flat sometimes with those hands, but also to four bet them if they have a calling range. Because if you have a hand like aces and they have jacks and you four bet and you don't four bet enormously huge, they're going to call. So you have like, if she did have queens there or jacks, her most often, her, her highest frequency play is just to be to flat. And like Marquise yeah. is like more incentivized to four bet there when, uh, when stealth cold calls because he now is gaining by uh, getting uh, getting stealth to fold some of his equity with, with whatever he has or getting more value from it. So I really like the way he played it. And even though I really commend him for how quickly he folded, that was pretty awesome. It's actually not a exploitive fold, which is crazy. Because if he's only opening, let's say, like 15% of hands under the gun, and once he faces a three bet range of Jennifer's, let's say it's really tight and it's like five or six percent of hands, she's going to have aces so often of the time. And now when he, he's going to have it, do you know how often aces are out of a total, what is it, like? 220. It's one in, one in two. One in two, two, two I think it's 226. 221. Nah. One in 220. One, one so basically like a little less than half percent. So one in 30, if he opens 15 percent of the time, so like one in 40 times he's going to have aces. And if she's Put it piling in like whatever it was, forty thousand. He's good if his calling range is just aces. He's going to turn a profit. He's not going to be exploited. So yeah, that's just how like deep stack poker hands. But maybe she just shrink never. So much. She just never piles in with anything worse than aces. Oh, I agree. She does. And what I does think she do with kings? Do she probably she just, just flats. I think she just flats. And if she doesn't, she goes in the tank forever. So I, I think, was just I think saying.